Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, welcome back to Atlas, where we are having a good time, man. We're on the Twitch RP server, and if you guys want to come play here, guys, I, I just put a video out yesterday, a roleplay video. Everybody that watched it seemed to like it, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do more of those. And there are a lot of people on this on this server, on these servers. It's a 4x4 server, if you didn't know, and it is... It is so there's 16 servers in all, and it is pretty much just pirates versus everybody else because the pirates are they've got an alliance now and it is huge and they are coming for everybody's stuff. So, in response to that, my character Joseph has got and he's gone and he's built a compound up top where he's going to be or that we're, we're going to be doing business from up there. I'm going to put more, there's going to be mortar cannons or mortar sites up top to fire down and below and all of this has got to be moved and i'm in the process of moving it i've gotten rid of all of the the gardens gone now uh i've got most of the materials moved up a lot of the materials moved up we're gonna move the animals up here in a minute all the water barrels are up and oh, as a matter of fact let me run up that quick i gotta i gotta open up these water barrels so why don't you come with me while i open my water barrels it's kind of an important thing it rains a good portion of the week here so it's not that big of a deal for me, but I want to make sure all my water barrels are full because I, 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 there's nothing like being dehydrated. You can dig up a hole and you can you can do all that if you want. I don't feel like doing it. I'm lazy. This is my staircase. If you guys haven't seen this, if this is the first time you're watching, the staircase took us about three or four days to get everything put together just because we were harvesting by hand. Let me stop right here in the middle of the stairway and show you. Uh, we just got a rhino and we just got an elephant. So we at the tail end of the build. So uh, this rhino right now it was uh, like a level 12 when it was when it was tamed. I think uh, I didn't tame it. We traded for it. So um, right now he's got 4, 495 health. He's got um, he's got 557 in weight. He's got 168 in stamina and 118 in melee. I need to jack his weight up because he just is not. These rhinos are not worth the the ground they stand on until their, their weight is high. So I'm gonna raise his weight up right quick to 672. Really, as it stands right now even, I can go ahead and pretty much gather enough stone by hand and put it on the bear in less time than it takes him to, to, to get the stone. I mean, he, he gets stone, stone pretty quick, yeah, it's great, but he doesn't, have any, he doesn't have any weight displacement with the stone, right? So unless they, until they change that, uh, this guy's a pretty much, he's kind of a useless tame, in my opinion. I wouldn't get one, unless you absolutely thought you really wanted one. They're cool to look at, but he's not, you know, I, don't, I would not suggest getting a rhino. But the elephant, on the, other, on the other hand, is a whole different story, guys. Wait a minute, hang on a second. Did this change? No. See, it's 166 no matter what, or with the 332 granite. It's not worth it with the, with the rhino for the weight. But the, the elephant's a whole different story. Now, you take, you take, let's see, there's some, he has some wood on him here, right? 44, which weighs tw tw 22, right? 22 kilograms. You throw it on this elephant, and it goes from 22 to 5.5. So it's 25% of the weight. And this guy will carry about four kilo, uh, 400 kilograms. Or 4,000 wood is what he, what he carries. 4,000 wood. So, and he's got two levels. We're going to jack him up in weight, too. Because for every every point in weight I put in there, that's four that's four point or four points in, in in wood that I can carry. Anyway, so getting back to what I was going to show you. I, oh, the barrels, the barrels. Shit, no, 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 no. Oh my god, woo! I almost fell. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not that far, but I just I didn't want to have to come back up. Anyway, this guy, this staircase took us about three or four days, and I put a new bank up. I put a new bank up right here, guys. We're gonna pin code this sucker. Uh, right now, and it's something I didn't do before. So we set the pin code. There we go. Set the pin code. It's not two 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 two. I used my number pad. You can't see what the what the pin code was. And let's go ahead and make sure all these barrels are, f are full of water, or they're going to be full of water. Let me make sure that all these barrels are open, if they need to be. That's full. Uh oh, I'm deficient. I'm deficient in vitamin D. No. Vitamin B, all my all my vitamins. All right, you need water. Before I start dying here, we're gonna go ahead and get some food in us. So let me go ahead and grab. All right, we'll fill that one up too. 
real quick. Barrels of water are essential. It rains enough that I don't have to irrigate my crops. And I'll show you the garden in a second. But it's... Water is essential. Water is essential. We'll open up. Hopefully I got this in time. We should be fine. 496 is good. 497 is good. I actually picked these up individually. They weigh 500 pounds a piece. Put them on my bear and drag, drag them up here one by one. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, guys, so let me grab some food right quick. This is my guy is about to die. And so I'm going to... Oh, no, I don't want corn. What do we got? So this right here, guys, is my... We'll get some celery. Celery is really good for you. We have... And it grows here on the island, so... It, it does so much for your vitamin A. Celery is the best vegetable that we found for your vitamin A, hands down. If, I, if you haven't heard me say it before, I'm saying it now. Uh, we'll get some cooked meat. I don't care about the, the salted meat. Uh, I have a deal um, coming through right in a few minutes, probably, hopefully. There's a couple of settlers that want, that want some gems, and I have gems to trade. So they're going to trade me. They're going to trade. Let's see what do I got? Oh, I need I need fruit. I need fruit. Shoot. Okay, let me get um. Let me eat this right quick. So we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat like five six pieces. I'm gonna drink all this milk. Oh no, I, I don't. Oh, I over I over drank. I over drank because I was in the water. That's a problem with milk. That's the only problem I can that we have with milk is that milk. Milk. If you if you're out in the in the rain and you and you fill up with water and then you go to drink milk, it's gonna make it's gonna make you over. Over drink, so we're gonna take some fish. That's why I always have a lot of fish and a lot of and milk at the same time, because you know I'm still overeating. And it's gonna do damage to me, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, that'll that'll carry us through for a minute. Anyway, guys, this is my warehouse. This is the warehouse that I built, and it's got a, a small gate. And let's go up here. You guys saw that at the beginning of the last video. You didn't see all of it though. So this is the this right here downstairs is gonna be food storage and i might do a cooking i might do a giant kitchen in here but we might do a dining hall in here i think we might do a dining hall in here maybe i haven't decided but i have to talk with monogard about that because i'm not sure what she wants to do uh this is all gonna be storage all this is gonna be storage probably now i do have i do have the resource box here where i keep a lot of my or i keep oh, i'll be keeping my stuff i just have organic paste in here right now because i haven't transferred all, all the resources over yet and we're going to scatter them. Now, what I have, I do have, if you guys haven't seen, is, where is it? Triangle floor. Triangle floor. Triangle ceiling. Here is a hidden stash room in the floor of this build. Am I, am I going to die from overeating? Okay, I'm going back up. Anyway, I have two ceilings here, and I, what I, I, I built in a, a, a hidden stash spot right here. When I have a bunch of gems or I have a bunch of coal, all my stuff for blasting powder is going to be here. Okay, I'm probably going to blow out another floor next to this so I can put a small chest so I can put blasting powder in it or my explosive barrels and all the really super high expensive items that I'm going to be making. The things that are labor intensive and are really, really valuable to a lot of people. All that's going to be here, and then I'll put a chest over the top of this, so that people will be—they won't—and I'll fill it with something stupid, right? I'll fill it with like I don't know what thatch or something. I don't know what I'll fill it I'll fill it up with, but I'll fill it with, with something stupid, so that even if, the, I mean, if there's nobody that I know, nobody that I know that raids, right? That looks at the goddess dang floor and says, "Oh, that's a floor." That's a floor. That's a ceiling. Oh, there, there must be a there must be a, a hole down here. No, and we're also on the Twitch RP server, so actually your HUD's supposed to be off at all times. Your HUD's supposed to be off at all times, so you can't nameplate people, and so there's no way they're going to be able to tell that this floor is 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 a, is a stash spot unless I tell them or unless they see it. So that's a good thing. Anyway, so we're going to go up here, and what else do I have? Like I said, this is all going to be storage up here. Uh, up here, it might be a meeting hall. I think I'll make this a meeting hall. Also, this is um, these doors, so I can I, I can shoot and close the doors. Not to mention, I like this view. I like these views. I can open this up. It's a nice view. You know, look at that. Look at that. It's a beautiful island. The island we're on is almost the size of the island in Ark. It feels like it's all. It's probably not that big. 
It's probably like a half, it's probably half the size of the island in Ark, but it's big. It's the biggest landmass of, of the 16 servers, so, and we, and I live here, so I'm loving every minute of it. Let's go out here, let's take a look around. Anyway, so, and you get, so this, look at this view, dude. It's freaking badass. Love it. Love it. It's amazing. And then I, I had it to where I could, I could get up. I was trying to figure this out. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, I, I had to put ceilings there just so people can't jump in with grappling hooks, but I'm trying to figure out how I can, I can, I can get up there through here because nothing fits. Once I get to this point, nothing fits. So I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll figure something out. As of right now, it's all grappling hook, but I'm not going to get up there right now. So anyway, guys, we'll just jump because it's not that far. It's really not. I'm not going to die from it. Ah. So anyway, guys, getting back to what I was saying. We made another bank, so what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go demolish the old bank. And i got to get everything out of it real quick. By the way, there's nothing in that chest in that floor right now, so I'm not worried about anybody coming up. Because I'm going to close this gate in a second. People are admiring my stairs, but they but I, don't, I haven't had any, any interlopers yet, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, we'll close that up. And it's going to get dark in a second, so I'm going to have to pull out the, the old trans, the trusty lantern. Let me grab the bears right quick, and let me grab everything out of this. I said I was going to make this into a, a trading post, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to make it into a trading post. All right, we're going to pull all this out, all of this, if I can, if I can grab it all. This is everything that we've, nope, I can't get, I can't get it all. We'll put it all on the bear, and then we'll, we'll distribute it later. Or the bears. Both the bears. I just would do like this. Here we go. There we go. So this bank is going to go away. And, and somebody said, well, it, that's a, it seems like a waste of materials to me. It's not, you know, because I was leveling at the time. I'm not leveling so much anymore because after level 55, if you didn't know, crafting doesn't give you 50 or 55, somewhere in there, crafting doesn't give you any XP anymore. Or... So all it is is passive XP now. And I'm almost level 58. So I, treasure hunting, uh, killing... I don't think Ships of the Damned give you very much XP anymore. Or Killing the Dead give you very much XP anymore. Digging up the treasure chest is what gives you XP. So the higher the level of the treasure chest, the more XP you're going to get, I think. Pretty sure. Now, your discoveries give you your max, your max level that you can get. I'm actually at a max level of 74 right now. And they, because they added 50 levels, right, in the last patch, I think, in 10. So you, I think the max level is 100. Uh, I'm at 57 right now. I need to go out. We're gonna do some treasure maps in the future. So we're gonna go out and do those, uh, mixed in with the with the role play videos. So it's not all gonna be role play videos, and it's all not gonna be let's plays. It's gonna be a mix. So I don't think this bear can take anymore. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put. But I have to. I, I don't think I can have two banks working at the same time. So I got to demolish this one right quick. So let's go ahead and I'll put everything on the bear here. Hopefully it didn't take me a year and a half to get here. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, don't look at me like that. Yeah, I'm going to put stuff on you. That's right. What up? All right. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to demo this. Demolish. Boom. Now, does it say, does it say I still have a taxation rate? It does, 20%. All right, I got to make sure that that's going to stay and be right. 30 gems, 40 metal. We got half of our materials back from the bank. All right, let me re let me take the, uh, is this expert? Yeah, I would say it would take expot up. Expot, not expert. Expot. Take it up. All right, hey, Peg. What's up, dude? We'll go up and we'll check it out. He's got a level. Probably more than one, actually. Because I, I've never had two banks and then destroyed one, I don't know it, what, what it'll do to this one. I think it should be fine. I probably should have destroyed the old one before I put the new one up. But hopefully it's not going to affect it too much. Let's go ahead and just go here. And let's go to taxation rate. We're just going to go 20% like we had. I'm not greedy, but I want a fair tax. So, All right. And you know what I'm going to do? Actually, let's do this. Taxation rate. Let's do it at 30 right quick and see if it changes on my screen. 
Yeah. Okay. So this one was working. This one. This. 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 This is working. So we'll go. We'll go twenty. I might raise it in the future. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Right. Twenty. Right now, twenty is fine. All right. So, and the house we really haven't done anything with right now, guys. Monogard redid the front. She wasn't happy with it. So she redid the front and, and pushed it out so it looks like almost like castle turrets type of thing, which is really cool. Oh, the garden. I was going to show you the garden. Uh, so here the garden's right here. And let me... Now, the garden isn't nearly as big as what it used to be. I put it on this platform here because it's jutting out because I, I wanted the garden here. So uh, Everything seems to be growing pretty well. I just planted these guys. They... Fixed everything with the with the plants, so now I can actually grow rice, which is cool because I really, really, really wanted to make ISO's uh, uh, rolls, sushi rolls. Are they down in here? Do I have them? I should have access to them. I think. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe that's a ne the next step. Maybe, okay, well, next level, maybe I'll have to get that. I don't know. Anyway, but I wanted to have rice, and now I have rice. So, and we have wheat, we have corn, I have peppers, I have carrots i'm growing beans here i think i have chickpeas somewhere i have a chickpea plant somewhere but i can't figure out there's no recipe for anything oh, i got beets the only thing i don't have is turnips i really i don't know if you can actually grow turnips if you can that's cool but i don't i haven't seen any seeds i'll have to trade for those because turnips are what the rhinos use to be tamed but i won't be taming rhinos but i will be selling whatever it takes to tame them you know what I mean? So, yeah, we've got we got enough. Now, on our server, it's gather times five. I don't know if it's the same on official, but tell me when you when you get when you gather. From. Your crop plot, your small crop plot in official without any harvest bonus, right? Do you get 20, 20 plants? I got 20 a pop and I've got. I mean, I'm going to be harvesting, like, I have 10, I think. So that's 200 corn at a pop in this garden. I won't get quite as much. I think I have, I might have as much wheat. I might have that same amount of meat, wheat. I don't know. But I only have, like, two or three or maybe one of the others. that Or, like, in a recipe, call, call for, like, two or three or five. I'm not going to go ahead and bother with, with, with having a bigger garden than this. This garden's much bigger than I need. Actually, it's about right. It's about right. It's a good, it's a good amount for what I need. All right, now I don't know if you guys can see in the distance there. There's an island just south of us right now. Let me go ahead and show you on the map. All right, just south of us, guys. All right, just south of us, guys. To the southeast is Gorgon's Haven. And Gor we live right here, by the way. Gorgon's Haven, guys, has gems and crystals. Gems, and, it, has, it has emeralds, it has opals, and, and it has crystal as well. Plus, it has a ton of iron, a ton of iron, and it's just right here. This one over here, which is uh, Kilwa Haven or whatever, it has anthracite, which is coal. So I'm going to have access. I won't have to burn a thousand fires. I can go over here. I can get a big batch of coal. I can go over here. I can get my gems. I can get my crystal. Now, there are gems and crystal, I think, on the, on the eastern side of the island here, but we haven't, I haven't found them yet. And I think the French have, have a lock on that. So, but I don't think it's a problem because we are allied with the French now. And they said they're going to give a, anyone access to salt. They're going to have shipments of salt being brought in for anybody who would use so long as it's being used for the war effort. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making blasting powder, right? So I need, I need salt. I need organic paste. I need gems. I need flint. And I need crystal. So crystal taken care of. Gems are taken care of. Organic paste is easy for me. Because the bear gathers so much fiber, it's not, it's not even funny. Um, salt is being taken care of. We're going to have a lot of blasting powder, guys. And I'm going to be making it by the thousands. So that's going to be my focus. I'm going to be making uh, blasting powder, which will be turned into both grenades as well as, as, as explosive barrels. And that's going to be something you're going to see in the future. And we're way up here. And we are way up here on top of a mountain, so I'm going to be uh, practicing my hang gliding technique here in the next couple of episodes and see how far we can get. 
Because I know you can get quite a ways with the, with the hang gliders in this game. So I'm hoping I can get from one end of the... I want to get to that tower that's over there. Where, where is it? There, the sun's coming up. You can actually see the tower from here, guys. That's where I want to get to. I haven't been over there. I don't know what that is. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. We're going to go ahead. This is just us moving on up. And I wanted to show you everything that we had done and, and our plans for the future. You're going to have a mixture of both role play and let's play in this series. So I want to let you guys know that I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode. By the way, my character is really old right now. He's 64 years old, guys. That's not old, but 100 is old. Anyway, guys, he's got, he's got a few years left. Anyway, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.